My name is Sergey. Today is the 3rd of November, Wednesday, and it's 5 p.m. Moscow time. Hope you are fine and you are welcome, you all, to this regular Fearless Wallet demo. At the beginning, I would like to tell you a short story that may inspire you all. About four years ago, I fell in love with blockchain technology. I was looking forward to attending every meetup that took place in Moscow. There are plenty of them at that time, and I couldn't even think about missing one of them. Um, I bought my first Ethereum tokens, and I made my first contributions in ongoing ICOs. And I was ready to give almost anything to join a team or a project in that industry. But they were my fantasies and dreams, which couldn't come true that time, unfortunately. Fortunately, that's not the end of my story. Time has gone by very fast. And here I am, the new product owner, of the Freeless Wallet uh, at Soramitsa company. And I'm really excited, uh, excited about perspectives and uh, new interesting things that are waiting for me and my team. But no man is an island, actually. I have got a great partner and our team tech lead, Alex Podubny. Hi, Alex. I know you are working hard to deliver new features. I've got a team of highly qualified professionals with a tremendous amount of experience. Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. And all of us, all our team are really excited to have joined such a great community and the project. So stay fearless guys. And never stop dreaming because dream, dreams come true. Uh, okay, let's move on to our current agenda. Today, I'm going to focus on four main parts of our demo. First, I'm going to give a brief report about our recent hotfix releases. Second, I'm going to provide you with the current status of multi-asset support development progress. Uh, after that, you will be able to watch a small demo of up-to-date Moonbeam crowd loan implementation. Uh, then I'm going to tell you about some updates on our nearest plans and strategic goals. Uh, uh, and at the end, we're going to have a Q&A session, so I suggest answering your questions then. I hope my presentation will take about 15 or 20 minutes. So let's get started with the hotfix report. For the recent two weeks, we have uh, issued some necessary releases. The first one's uh, version 1.9.6 for Android and version 1.9.9 for iOS have fixed some bugs and crashes connected to runtime and metadata upgrade. The next release version 1.9.10 for IRS has been issued to solve some UI problems with the crowd loan and the staking screen of the app. The bug was the cause of freezing these screens and making them unresponsive. And Literally yesterday, the recent release for iOS version 1.9.11 was issued. It has this, the, fixed the bug when users were unable to load the crowd loan stop. It was happening for two days and we fixed the bug quite quickly, but it took about uh, one day to pass the Apple Store review process. Father, let's uh, go further. I understand how much you want to hear some news about multi-asset support functions, uh, and I'm not going to keep you in suspense. Generally, the picture looks as follows. The infrastructure tasks and issues are about 90% ready, 
That means that our app is 100% ready for adding support for custom networks. The app networking module is 100% ready for connecting to multiple networks sim simultaneously. Uh, and regarding the adaptation of the wallet libraries for supporting custom networks, there are some issues with supporting different versions of runtime metadata for both the Android and iOS platforms. The situation with UI and screen flows implementation is worse. It seems that they are only 20 or 30% ready. To make uh, a long story short, we have only the crowd loan and staking top screens and logic completed. The setting top and flows are partially re ready. And I guess we just passed half of the way. The wallet top is only going to be implemented. It's worth to mention that we will continue developing these functions as soon as we have completed the crowd loans implementation because we are working on these functions right now. So that covers everything I wanted to say about the multi-asset support development progress. And we can move on to the Moonbeam crowd loan contribution demo. So I need to, to, to make some notes about that because there are four important things you should know about the Moonbeam crowd loan participation. Uh, the first crucial thing is uh, where you are at a certain moment. Uh, there are some geo restrictions for taking part in the contribution. So the second one is that you have to complete the pre-registration scenario beforehand. You can do that on the Moonbeam Crowd Loan website, uh, but you should have the Polkadot.js browser extension installed and be logged into your Polkadot account. Or you can do the, uh, the same in our application, and I will show you how, to can, how it can be done. The third thing is you should have an account uh, on the Ethereum networks because Moonbeam reward tokens uh, are Ethereum based. And finally, the last thing is uh, the minimum contribution amount. It's uh, five dots, but you should have a bit more to pay for some transaction fees. So let's, uh, let me show how the full scenario looks. Uh, we are using a test network and the test account. That's why you don't be so surprised about some alerts and uh, other things. So uh, to start uh, the scenario, we should go to the crowd loan tab. So we can see our the, the list of our crowd, crowd loans, of uh, ongoing crowd loans. And then we choose the Mount Moonbeam crowd loan option. If we haven't completed the pre-registration procedure, you will see the screen with terms and conditions. You can scroll it up and down to read the whole information. So to confirm it, uh, you should put the switcher at the bottom of the screen in, in the own position and tap the continue button. So on the next screen, you finally sign the terms and conditions. Since the transaction takes place on the Polkadot chain, your account will be charged a little fee and we can see the fee, the estimated fee at the bottom on the screen. Uh, the operation takes time because the app is waiting for the chain confirmation that block formation has been finished. So we should wait for about 10 or 20 seconds. It has finished because uh, we can observe, uh, so we can, we can see the contribution screen now. In, in this case, uh, everything is, uh, has gone okay. We're on the contribution screen and we can see all the necessary information about our contribution, like the leasing period and estimated reward. 
the summary about the crowd loan progress is available on the screen and we can see the total contribution of the crowd loan and the time left. So we, we should fill two, two fields. The first one is uh, our contribution amount. Let's let it be 10 and the Moonbeam Ethereum address. Uh, all your rewards will be sent to this address. Uh, um, so make sure that you have all the necessary data to get access to it. After all these preparations, um, tap the continue button. If everything is okay, we will see the confirmation screen with your contribution su summary. Uh, namely, you can see your account, the amount of your contribution, uh, leasing period, an estimated reward, and your Moonbeam Ethereum matters. So we can check all the data once again and tap the, conf uh, the confirm button. So we, with a small delay, we can see our total Moonbeam contribution amount on the crowd loan list. So it seems like we have finished the, the full scenario. Repeated contribution process looks easier. Having chosen the Moonbeam option of the crowd loan list, we go to the contribution screen and then the flow is the same. So you don't have to fill in your Moonbeam address because it's filled automatically. So let, let's contribute six, for example. Press continue. Confirm. Uh, and we can see the success. So uh, the, the total amount of, of our, our contribution is 16 dot. Some words about the builds and uh, when they will be available on the application stores. Um, the Android release version uh, 1.9.7, which supports Moonbeam contribution flow is on review on the Google Play market. The iOS release version 1.9.12 is also on review. Uh, on review. Uh, anyway, we'll do our best to be on time before the Polkadot crowd loan events has started. So let's talk a bit about our nearest plans. I'm sure that the custom crowd loan implementations for Akala and Astar are our top priority for now. And we'll be focusing on them for some days until the builds are available on the application stores. Uh, just after, after that, we are going to continue the multi-asset support development, and we expect it to have this process completed in November. Let's move on to our long-term plans and strategic goals. Unfortunately, we had to move the staking analytics release to longer dates because the multi-asset support implementation is a higher priority. The staking analytics function will be available in release uh, version 2.1 in December. The next important milestone is Moonbeam and Moon River integration. As we've already mentioned earlier, Moonbeam and Moon River token support will be added to the wallet functions. You will be able to see your balances, send and receive tokens, and a bit later, the staking function will be available as well. Another important use is that we've started working uh, on the browser extension app and the desktop app. Uh, there is a little to report right now, but our design team has already been planned a series of UX research 
and we, we will really appreciate your active participation in it. Um, governance support, as well as on chain identity features, uh, cold wallet support, et cetera, are also very important for us. But we should prepare some proposals for the Kozama Council beforehand and get their confirmation on these implementations. It's impossible to keep silent about our new collaborations for integrating parachain features like non-fargeable token support. We are going to have some meetings about our strategic collaboration with uh, solution providers and teams. So the implementation is just around the corner. Uh, that's all about our roadmap updates. And I guess uh, we can switch to the Q and A session. So, if if there there are no any questions, so thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for, for taking part in this regular demo. I'm really appreciate your your attention, and stay fearless. Uh, thank you all, and uh, looking forward to to meeting you. Uh, on our next demos.